guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alyssa and on today's video, I will be going through an Ulta haul. I haven't done an Ulta haul in a while and I just went to Ulta to get one item and I bought a bunch. But we'll explain that more a little bit later. If you're interested to see what I purchased at Ulta, then definitely keep on watching. Okay, so let's just start diving it. So uh, I did a bit of shopping, but wait, there's more. <laughs> and one more. So what happened was, before we go into the products, I went to Ulta for a specific item, which I will dive in a little bit later, but the first Ulta didn't have what I was looking for, so I had to drive to another Ulta. And then the little third bag, you'll understand why I have that a little bit later. But let's first dive in into the main big bag here. So I was in the store. This is why I avoid going in the store because I do not have any self-control in Ulta. But anyway, it's okay. I got stuff that I needed and stuff that I wanted to try. So I'm going to dive in and talk about it. So the first item I want to talk about is the Living Proof Restore Perf Perfecting Spray. It's a conditioning detangling spray. And I got a sample of this last year and it was like this little bitty sample. I ran out, I fell in love with this and I've been wanting to purchase it. So I finally just ended up when I was there, ended up buying it. This is $29 and it really makes my hair smooth, shiny, and it really helps me detangle. And I love it so much. So I decided to buy a full one. So 20, you, for $29, you get eight fluid ounces and your hair is just beautiful. So that is the first item that I purchased. The next item that I purchased was if you, if you watched my 12 beauty products that are under $30, you see that I talk about the Neutrogena Hydro Boost products. I have the face wash and I have the little mask and I wanted to try the lotion and the serum. So I'm really excited to try these. I haven't tried them yet, but I love the face wash so much and I love the mask. So I thought I might as well try the lotion and the serum. So let me tell you how much they were. The lotion for Neutrogena is $11.99 and the serum is $24.99, which actually is not badly priced for lotion and for serum. And for the lotion, you get five fluid ounces, and for the serum, you get one fluid ounce. So I think these are very good price. Now, I'll just have to let you know if they're worth it. Let's see what the lotion smells like. See if it smells like the cleanser. I'll try it on my hands. It's a lot like the Okay, I'm not really a fan of the smell of, it says no fragrance, but I don't really like the smell of the lotion for the Neutrogena. Let's see how it feels though. How are you supposed to use this? Cause it feels sticky. All right, so it says you can use on wet or dry face and it helps remove makeup and it's fragrance free, but I'm not really a fan of how it smells. So that's my take on it. But again, I will let you know. Let's see the serum. <laughs> so this is what it looks like, the serum. Let's go ahead and try it. Okay, and maybe I have to shake it first because it's super watery. So I don't know how I feel. Put it on my hands. So the, the serum smells just like the face, the face wash, which I really like. So I do not like the smell of this cleansing lotion. So that's my first review on this. I don't like the smell, but we'll see how it works and I'll let you know. The serum seems, to, it's a little bit watery but it smells like the face wash, that really fresh, clean smell. 
and I really like that. So I feel like I'm going to like the serum, but I don't think I'm going to like this. But hey, I'll let you guys know how I feel about this in later videos. Okay, so then I just got Morphe setting spray. I also brought this up in my beauty video of under $30. And I just really like the spray and I'm running out. So I just bought some more. It's $16 for the Morphe setting spray. And it's just, it sprays really nicely. Let's see if you can see it. And it just really gets all over your face without leaving those little mark, like the little wet marks all over. And it just helps stay all day and it's just really nice and refreshing. So I got some more Morphe setting spray. And then I really like the Essence Princess Lash Mascara. That has been my favorite mascara so far that I've tried and I wear it every day. So I wanted to try more from Essence and I got the You Better Work Length Definition Mascara. It's gym proof and waterproof. Go ahead and put this up closer so you can see it. Let's go ahead and look at the wand. All right, and not bad. Not a lot of product on there, so that's good. It won't be clumpy. So, and the bristles are nicely spread apart. So, oh, <laughs> about to break it. <laughs> oh, it's very like bendy okay awesome all right so i can't wait to try this and it looks promising so i'm excited mascara goes for 4.99 so it's still really cheap and i'm excited to try it all right so the next item i've been wanting this palette for a while now and i finally bought it so this is the truly madly deeply color pop palette this is actually the first color pop palette that i have ever purchased so I'm really excited. I've been looking at all the palettes and I just wanted to decide which one to buy. And this is the one I went with. So if you haven't seen it yet, I'll open it up. And do you just see how gorgeous that is? Like I just couldn't, I've been thinking about this for months. I've been wanting to purchase it since I made my BH Cosmetics um, video, which I don't even remember that was, was that March? And I just couldn't stop thinking about this palette and I'm so excited to try it and I'm going to do a future video of me using it and I just can't wait like it's just so beautiful <laughs> it's finally mine oh my gosh okay so this will be in my Colourpop video but I just want to go right into Hungry Ghost and it comes off like do you see this like it literally comes off so easily I cannot wait to play with this oh my gosh okay Okay, I am obsessed. Do you see that? Oh my gosh, should I do a whole swatch video on this in the future, this palette? Cause, oh my gosh, that is stunning. Oh my God, I'm so excited I bought this. Okay, so this palette is $23, not bad at all for a palette. This may, you know what, this might be, my favorite palette under $30. I haven't used it yet on my eyes, but just by sampling this one color, I just can't. Like, this just beats... I need to redo that video that I posted because this should be in that video. Okay. So, next. Okay, so now we're getting into why I even went to Ulta in the first place. And I went to Ulta on July 26th to buy... <laughs> The Harry Potter collection. I went to Ulta, got up what right first thing in the morning to get there because by the time I wanted to buy it online, it was sold out. So I got, got to Ulta and I went, and of course I had to buy all of the palettes. Now, as you can see, Hufflepuff is missing, and that's because I had to go to the other Ulta to buy it. So I do have it. I have all of them. Hufflepuff is my Harry Potter house, so I had to get that one, and of course that was the one that was sold out. But I knew I was going to buy all the palettes because I had to have all of the houses. Plus, every palette looks gorgeous. So let's just start with the Gryffindor palette. And let me take off this paper. So anyway, I went to Ulta to buy these palettes, and they didn't have Hufflepuff, so I drove to the other Ulta to pick it up. And then 
I bought more stuff when I went to that Alta. <laughs> I have no self-control. But anyway, so let me get this open. I'm really excited that I was able to get all four of these palettes and I will be doing a future video more detail about these palettes. It will be coming soon. But I first wanted just to let you guys know that I purchased it. Okay, so let's see now if you can see it a little bit better. Do you see these colors? It is absolutely gorgeous. So these are palettes that are made with Ulta and I literally cannot wait to try these. So that's the first one, Gryffindor. Then we have Slytherin. I don't really have too many green eyeshadow. I don't really own too many green eyeshadows, but I really like the green shadows that are in this palette. So give me a second while I take this off. Okay. And that is the Slytherin palette. I can't wait to try. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I don't even know what look to do yet with these, but you will see in future video. All right, then we're gonna go to the Ravenclaw. <laughs> then we're gonna go to the Ravenclaw palette. And I'm, oh my gosh, I'm still so excited that I own these palettes. And I can't wait to play with them. I love makeup. Okay. I really like the Ravenclaw palette a lot. Like I like these colors. I didn't really use to play with blue eyeshadow, but right, but lately blue eyeshadow has been my favorite color to play with. I usually do neutral, like peach looks or with browns, but blue has definitely been up there. And then of course yellow, I have also been playing with, which I love this Hufflepuff palette so much too. And then this is my Harry Potter house. So I had to have this one, of course. Okay. Would you look at it? I'm so excited. So these, I'll be making a video on a look and sampling some of these shades in a future video and I cannot wait. I'm so excited. And oh my gosh, I just can't. But these palettes individually cost $16. Again, not a bad price for palettes for nine shades, $16. So I am super excited to play with these and give a review on them too. I mean, just because they look nice in the package, doesn't mean that they're good on the, good on the face. Will it last all day? I don't know. I'll let you know. So I did buy a little bit more from the Harry Potter collection while, while I was there and I got Expecto Patronum is this a uh, matte lip crayon and the reason why I picked this one I'm not even gonna lie to you guys I didn't even go for the shade I bet you the shades pretty but Expecto Patronum is my favorite Harry Potter spell and it's also from if we're talking movies my favorite Harry Potter movie is the Prisoner of Azkaban so I had to buy this shade and I hope it looks good because um, I wasn't going to buy all of them, but I picked one and I went with this one. Just trying to open it up so you can see what the shade I bought. Plus, I'm also curious because I don't even know. I mean, you can kind of see it here, but I want to see what it looks like on my skin tone. I'm so excited to do this Harry Potter video for you guys. I just can't. Can't wait. A second <laughs> struggling okay so let's get a, a closer look so this is what it looks like this is shade expecto patronum with my ring light you can't really see it but it is a patronus on the front and it says expecto patronum and then it's just like a lip crayon and it's a matte lip crayon this shade does look pretty so i'm happy that they did do a good shade with this but let me sample it on my arm to see if it goes good with my skin tone I think it's a very good neutrally pink color, so I'm excited to try it. You know what? Let's just try it right now. It literally is like a perfect nude for me. It adds a little bit more pink to my lips, but it looks so natural. I love it. And it just smells like lipstick. <laughs> I, I like this. I'm happy that it's like my perfect nude. 
Okay, and then I did buy a gloss. I don't really like glosses, but I thought I should at least try one of them from the collection, plus for my review video with the Harry Potter. Man, I can't get these open. <laughs> But anyway, I went with shade nine and three quarters. Okay, so I finally got it open. I got lip gloss uh, nine and three quarters. It's super cute. I like the packaging. Let's see, it's like a pink sparkle. I had more plastic on there. <laughs> My baby hairs are awful. Okay, anyway, sorry, distracted. Okay, so let's open this up. Doesn't smell very good, to be honest, but let's see. The brush is like ginormous, like, oh my gosh. Okay, anyway. It's just like a gloss. It is sticky, so I don't really know how often I'll use this. It's a pretty color though. It's like a pretty gloss, very sheer. Can't believe how norm ginormous this brush is. And I hate that it's sticky, but that's okay. Jeez, oh, and it's like, it's struggling putting it back in okay so this is ten dollars and i forgot to mention but this lip crayon is ten dollars i'm happy about the palette i'm happy about this lip crayon lip crayon but i'm kind of disappointed with the gloss i don't like that the smell of it it smells like cheap lip gloss that you would buy for a kid that's like two dollars <laughs> And it's really sticky. I am not a fan of this lip gloss at all. But it was $10 and it looks cute and I'm a sucker for packaging. So, and I'm not returning it because I hate returning stuff. So whatever, it'll just look nice on my shelf. <laughs> and I'm also gonna use it in my future video for the Harry Potter look. So you'll see me try it then. I am not trying it right now. It's just not really my forte, but I'll give an actual review on it in my next video. Okay, so we're almost getting there. <laughs> All right, so I did, when it launched, I believe it became on Ulta on July 5th, but I could, online July 5th, but I could be mistaken. But the only thing that I was able to buy off of the online was the brushes. And the brushes look really nice. And then I knew that I had to get the palettes eventually, which is why I went to all to on July 26 to get the palette. So let me open these up and test out these brushes. I'm really excited to do this video, you guys. I'm really excited. So, oh my gosh. This is, a, this is so soft. Okay, that is like the softest brush I've ever felt. I just wanna, this is so calming. Okay, anyway, sorry. So it comes with four brushes. I really like how they look. So it's um, the stone, the wand, which is the elder wand, the cloak, and Deathly Hallows. So these are what the theme of the brushes is, is Deathly Hallows. And I really like the packaging. It has like this swirly, like marble tone to it. And then it's they're really, all of them are amazingly soft, especially this one. And we have like the angled brush that will be good for highlights and then a blending brush and a brush that's also good for eyeshadow. And then I think this is a powder brush, but this is just going to be very calming for me. Okay. Anyway, I really like the brushes a lot and I'm very happy that I purchased the brushes. So I just, these are just so soft. Okay. I really got to keep moving on. <laughs> I know this is a lot of rambling and if there's any of these products that you want me to review please comment below because I would love to review them okay but there is going to be a full video on the Harry Potter and that will be coming up soon over here retail for $25 look at that $25 for these brushes okay I'm getting close to the end you guys so next, I, I really, really love, and I know this is so random, but I really, really love Ulta's soap. So I bought three flavors. I got Sweet Apple, Pink Lemonade, which is my favorite from them, 
and fresh water mist six dollars a piece and i love them so much especially the pink lemonade my favorite okay i think we're down pretty much down to the end so i went back to ulta and this is before i filmed this video so i thought i might as well just add it into my ulta haul since we're talking about everything that i purchased so i went to ulta to get another one of these ascent princess lash uh, mascaras for my nana she wanted to try it because she heard me talk about it and so i bought her one and then while i was in there i was like Alyssa, focus on just going straight to the mascara you already bought all this other stuff from ulta just walk straight to the mascara buy it and get out while i walked in they told me about with all of the stuff about how there's no samples and all that stuff and then they were like it's national lipstick day so our lipsticks are on sale you it's half off and then buy one get one free and i was like dang it i know i don't really wear too many lipsticks right now because of the whole mask thing but hey these are gonna come in handy when we don't have to wear masks or if i just want to film for youtube so i got suckered in and I got two Becca lipsticks and I got both of these for only $12 and they run for $24 a piece. So the shades I got was Toupee and Chocolate. And I'm really excited because I've always wanted to try Becca's lipsticks. I only ever tried from Becca is her highlighter and I love it. But I like, ooh, did you hear that pop? Okay, anyway, it's very simple but effective. I like the pouch, it, packaging. It says Becca here, and then it also says Becca on here. So this is shade Toupee, and let me get up closer. So this is the shade. Go ahead. Uh, you right off this crayon and just try it on. Okay, Becca, I see you. The shade's actually really nice too. I feel like all my lipstick shades are very similar, but different. But anyway, I love this shade. Okay, let's try chocolate. It's so creamy. One last look. Goes really well with my makeup look today. Okay, let's try. Let's try the next one. Chocolate now. I was just so excited that I got two lipsticks for $24. I mean, I got two $24 lipsticks for $12 and they're back up. And I really like when you open it, <laughs> the pop. <laughs> oh, this is chocolate. I think I like the chocolate one more than the other one just by looking at it. But let's try it on. It's like really good for fall. Oh my gosh, yes. This is my fall color. Love it. I'm so excited. And then I bought one more item. <laughs> I don't know why I got really loud there, but. So I saw, so after I bought, the, after I went and got suckered into getting lipsticks, I got the mascara for my Nana. And then I also saw this also from Essence. It's Volumizing Fibers What the Fake uh, <laughs> Mascara. And I wanted to try it. I just want to try all their mascaras. But this is the wand. I don't know how I feel about this yet. Looks kind of clumpy. But I know there is a volumizing fiber. So that's expected. And I think this is also $4.99. But let me see. Yeah, $4.99. So all their mascaras are $4.99. So I'm excited to try this. Stuff dropped. I'm excited to try this. And I'm also excited to try this mascara since I already like the Princess Lashes. So I will let you know what one's better. Or maybe I'll use them all three together. Mm -hmm. But that is everything part of my Ulta haul. It was a bit massive. This is a long video. So if you stayed watching through the whole thing, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And if you have any questions about any of the products I bought or any suggestions on products that you bought that are similar to the products I bought, comment below. I want to I want to have a conversation. I want to talk. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more from me, please subscribe to my channel. I post videos every Wednesday and I will be seeing you next time, guys. Thank you so much again for watching. Bye, guys.